So The Verge published a new article yesterday with the title, Microsoft Gets Its Head Back Into The Xbox Cloud. And surprise, it's behind a paywall. How dare you? It's okay though, I've got you guys covered. I have the article here just to read things I already know about. But let's get into it anyway. Now, do I regret my purchase of Notepad here? I do for this article because it's literally nothing I haven't been talking about for over a year now. I won't show the full article, but I'll list key quotes here. Now the article regurgitates many of the articles and topics of news videos I've already published, but the highlights are this. First up, the Microsoft Cloud Gaming Mobile Battles. Both Google and Apple's App Store's restrictions stop Microsoft from shipping the cloud gaming app it really wanted and would have meant sacrificing Xbox Game Pass revenues. Microsoft was banking on that mobile growth to make Xbox Cloud Gaming a bigger success story. Duh! I recently said that they were building data centers in India so they could focus on selling Game Pass, specifically cloud services to Indian gamers because the majority of Indian gamers are mobile only. There are almost 500 million gamers in India. That's more gamers in India than people in the United States alone. Now that the courts have helped Epic Games and in turn Microsoft with the mobile apps, increasing mobile compatibility is a no-brainer. Microsoft's Xbox chief, Phil Spencer, even claimed that Amazon and Google were the main competitors for Xbox instead of Sony and Nintendo. Now people are surprised by this, but why is this? Because Sony and Nintendo do not have cloud infrastructures. Microsoft, Amazon, and Google have the three top cloud infrastructures in the world. We said this last year when the CMA and FTC were fighting to counter the Activision Blizzard deal, stating it's because of cloud gaming. Remember that? Yeah, we agreed with them. Why? Because they were right. The industry knows this. Microsoft is about to dominate. Not just in the Western world, but globally. Sources tell The Verge that Microsoft is working on improving bit rates for Xbox cloud gaming that should come soon. But seriously improving latency levels to compete with GeForce Now will require more powerful hardware. Yes! Duh! I've been talking about this for over a year now. They have to move the service to Microsoft Azure to accomplish this. And yes, if you look at the instances they have on Azure now, they literally have a cloud gaming package. This video above goes into detail on exactly the hardware being used and just how powerful it is. I am 99.9% .9 sure they'll be using these configurations on Azure to get better performance and bit rates for the platform. It's already set up for it. How do I know? The cloud gaming platform Blacknut is using this hardware to power their new line of Ubisoft games. I tested Skull and Bones on Blacknut and lo and behold, they are using the AMD V620s for 1080p 60fps gaming. Now they still need to lock some things down and the full review of that will come in another video, but this is proof Microsoft will go in this direction. And finally, the article talks about the Direct to Cloud controller, like it's something new. This was leaked to us last year from that Microsoft console leak as shown here. But of course, this is nothing different from the Stadia and Luna controllers that any cloud gamer has already seen. And please know guys that this direct to cloud controller thing is becoming an industry standard. Now I wanted to make a separate video on this, but here is Boosteroid's VP talking about theirs being in development too. Now I know that Amazon Luna has their own controller and it goes directly actually to the cloud machine itself through the Wi-Fi. And I know Microsoft is developing their own for their next console. Have you guys thought about doing something similar? For sure, yeah. And uh, I, I can say we're doing that, but we think about that. And this is basically the concept of our Boosteroid Gamepad app, right? It also connects directly to the server, yeah. not the device. Yeah. So we're we're thinking uh, uh, like how we can improve the experience with the gamepad with the controller. But uh, we, I don't think we are going to do this alone uh, because this will be very difficult, very far from our core business. So we might partner with somebody. Um, and uh, this is being discussed internally, actually. So this is on Boosteroid's roadmap for 2025 as well. 
So guys, nothing really new under the sun and apparently I wasted my money. Like the video and watch all of it so I can get my money back. <laughs> Anyway, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and check out my video for what I believe Microsoft is planning to do for upgrades and the service overall. Also, please understand that Microsoft is going cloud first for gaming. This is stated by Phil himself. When we look in the future, we see a world where game creators will natively be building cloud-based games first. They will think first about their game running in the cloud with almost unlimited access to the hardware capability that's available in a data center, they'll be able to scale the capabilities of their games up and down, potentially hosting hundreds of thousands of players in a game or making use of multiple CPUs and GPUs in the cloud to deliver experiences that no local hardware could unlock. Don't hate the messenger. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And if you like this overview of updates we've already talked about, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place we can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.